In 2004, the National Police dismantled an unknown sect that had been in existence for three years in the province of Naratiwa, Thailand. The sect carried out its rituals on extensive hectares in the southern part of the country. A series of barns and large houses were found, where it is suspected that around 600 people may have lived. When the police arrived at the location, they found only three men in very poor hygienic conditions but completely lucid. The men identified themselves as permanent residents of the village, as they referred to it. Their only brief statements, always in an oddly passive tone, were as follows. The police decided to arrest these men on charges of suspicion of kidnapping and murder. When the forensic team entered the village, they discovered a large number of corpses in the gardens. The examinations confirmed that the bodies had been decomposing for at least three weeks. A total of 241 deceased individuals were accounted for, all of whom had apparently taken their own lives by ingesting some form of poison. In certain gardens of the village, there seemed to be large stretches of rudimentary cemeteries, filled with garbage and strange religious symbolism. Bones and other human remains were found wrapped in bags or hanging from some trees. Inside the barns, the police discovered rooms filled with strange objects on the floor, altars, figurines, aromatic candles, photographs, and books. They all seemed to point to rooms used for bizarre rituals, including human sacrifices. The smell was unbearable, even for the specialized forensic team and their respective safety equipment. More objects were found scattered in the hallways, but they were not identified as human corpses, so they were not removed from the site until instructions were received from the relevant health agencies. There were also halls dedicated to peculiar spider-like figures, also adorned with statues and religious symbolism. Continuing with the exploration of the remaining gardens, the forensic team came across two holes in a secluded area far from the houses and barns. They were incredibly narrow, but they appeared to lead somewhere, possibly a hiding place. bodies were found in a state of transitional metamorphosis. They all appeared to be dead, petrified with a final expression of horror. In the weeks that followed, researchers began to study the 122 books they extracted from the village for entire days. Incredibly, these were relics over 9,500 years old, probably written by monks from an extinct religion. Paleographers and cryptographers dedicated themselves to translating the thousands of pages, which were written in a highly ancient variant of modern Thai. Filled with symbolism that spoke of a figure named Mio Ro Hoi, 
an insectoid entity that seemed to reveal a profound truth to a group of men who, on the day of the great universe rupture, would be teleported to a dimension where their souls, of immeasurable transcendental value, would become part of the big other.